Hey guys, it's the basic Sorgonomics for this May 26, 2015. Uh, and check out everything at Sorgatron.com. A lot of stuff going on. Actually, this morning as this is posting, I should have my outline and such for the uh, basics of YouTube and video editing uh, that we're doing down at the Carnegie Library. And uh, if all goes well, hopefully you checked out our basics of Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat we did last week. Audio is up and also up in the uh, in the audio streams on iTunes and Stitcher for basic sorgonomics a good uh, probably two hours of talking about that kind of stuff even uh, uh slipped in some meerkat and, and stuff like that in there too and uh we're gonna have fun with those i've been really enjoying these sessions and uh, a really good really a really good response of audience too uh with this you know as opposed to talk i did a little bit ago uh about just the podcasting in general and i just kind of showed a bunch of examples to a uh, point park university uh classroom but anyways uh, this week it's a weekly challenge, and I wanted to talk about I wanted to talk about uh, podcasts. Hey, there's a surprise, and uh, this isn't really something for you to do to produce anything. Kind of more of a thought experiment, and this is presuming that you this is presuming that you um, are already listening to podcasts. So obviously, you, you're here, you're listening to this one. You can do this experiment with this one as well. Um, but you can certainly, uh, so I, I listen to shows that have been around for a while this week in tech, you know, look at some of my shows are, you know, in 10 years, we're in the four hundreds, uh, you know, some, some shows like, uh, does this hold up? I'm seeing, uh, you know, hit, you know, just past a hundred and thinking about, you know, they're kind of, I'm kind of new to them. What was it like way back in the first episode or two? This Week in Google is another one. It's up in, I don't know, probably the 400s, 300s, something like that. I'd like to go back. What was the original direction of it? And kind of thinking back to that, like where where did these things start? Where was that original concept? We're, we're starting something up with, uh, uh, I'll be in the SORG morning, afternoon, power hour, kind of creating this and kind of figuring out what that direction is. It's a basically, we know we want to talk and do something, but we're not sure exactly what that's going to be in the end. Or you start a show and say, I'm going to talk about wrestling. And it's going to be this way. I'm going to talk about this week in Google probably started as, if I'm recalling, because I'm pretty sure I listened to some of the first episodes, like you know when it started. And, and you know We're going to talk about cloud computing and Google. And it's turned into, we're going to talk about basically everything internet at this point what's yahoo doing what's what's twitter doing what's social media doing you know and talk about privacy and all these things and and that mission sort of changes and reforms over the years i think i think you can go for wrestling mayhem show for instance uh listen to episode one listen to episode 50 listen to episode 100 right how is and watch that format change and you see big shifts of course because we had people leave and then there's what are we doing and it's just me and will maybe for a little bit there and then we're bringing these other people that were writing us at the time and see how that's evolved into what it is now and now uh last year we 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 decided to do a little more structure you know even listen to the first few episodes of indie mayhem show where you know we had our first few interviews we're kind of figuring out we don't have regular questions yet and and what does that turn into you know, uh, listen to early nerdists. That's something I haven't done. And this is something I'm going to try to do too. And sometimes it's hard to find them. You can't really go back that far in the feed. It depends on their setup. But in most cases, if you put, you know, This Week in Tech, number one or something like that, which actually is another show name. And that's not an issue too. And you don't have to go all the way back. You can just go back a couple of years. How does that compare to what's going on there? It's just kind of an analysis of of how do these things evolve and what are the differences? Did you like the show better back then than you do now? I've seen podcasts evolve into something different. Uh, maybe get a new host. Maybe maybe decide to do a different format and they've lost me. Or I moved to somebody else that is doing something in that old format. You know, um, there's a actually they just had the. Uh, what is the anniversary? A thousandth episode, something like that, uh, with a, a buzz out loud. Some of that original crew, of course, kind of still collectively is happening in a format of sorts with uh, Tom Merritt's Daily Tech News Show. And you look at it. He's been doing this for how long? And I think he numbers that show based on what he did at Buzz Out Loud. As in, as in the numbers of uh, Tech News Today he did for Twit. And just started there when he started doing numbers for Daily Tech News Show. And I think that's fascinating. And 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 looking at those and see that evolution. So go back and listen to Buzz Out Loud when he was a part of it. 
which is a CNUT show, and you can probably still find those. I don't know if they do, I don't think they do a version of it. The 404 somehow still survives, and I know that's probably way different than it used to be. Even when I was listening to it, they were talking back to, yeah, we used to do this on the show, you know. And I get that too, you know, Awesome Cast is one that we do. It had a different host. I started it with Rob, uh, Rob De La Creta, who I'm seeing pictures on Instagram that he's hanging out somewhere beautiful in California right now. Good for him. Awesome. I'm sure work brought him there uh, for some awesome, awesome reason. Busy and doing awesome things. So, And, and now it's turned into this other thing with, with uh, John Chichilla, who's amazing with gadgets you know, and, and Dutters and, and all these other people that we bring in. And I think we, we found our, our place there, you know. Uh, you, what have we done with boss battle? You know, I think it's, you know, the same as going back. And if you watch any show and you go all the way back to being, let's go watch the pilot episode of quantum leap. Let's go watch the pilot episode of geez. What's another one that changes a lot. So hell star Trek's a fine example, but especially back then you would see all these changes from that first episode where, you know, and like, you know, and, and maybe we didn't, maybe we are saying this too, when we're going and watching the pilot of Gotham this past season, saying, this show hasn't found its voice yet. This show hasn't figured it out. It hasn't found its pace yet. The characters haven't figured out what they're playing at, right? The, the actors haven't figured out what their characters are and how those are going to interact. And the same still holds true for podcasting and whatever version that is, if it's a conversation. You know, you can do it with this. I mean, you can go back to when I decided, you know, maybe the milestones of when I decided to turn this into basic sorgonomics. And it goes back further in this feed, and it actually started something called Good Morning. Like, be interesting. Go back and listen to that. And maybe maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do an, an analysis here when the anniversary, first anniversary of this show rolls around here, which I think is the beginning of July, if I recall. I have to double check that. You know, and, and, and see what has this become. And whatever goals I laid out, because I know when I did it, there was, there was a set of goals, which I think was basically just to make something. I didn't know if there was any goals as to what I was going to analyze day to day. It was a little bit of everything. I probably have repeated topics on here. But where did, where did we end up from there? Where did that tra trajectory take us, right? So. And as I go through my list and looking at uh, uh, other things over the years... Um, Kevin Smith's podcast was one I think of. Cole Cabana's uh, Art of Wrestling. Uh, th th just those have all evolved, you know. And some have it. I, I could argue that the uh, Jay and Silent Bob Get Old has not changed all that much since the original. Because it was, you know, Jason Mewes telling sex stories, telling stories of when he was a druggie, talking about how, uh, how many days he's been straight since. And uh, a clean, I mean, since. And uh, I, I think that is very profound. And good that that hasn't changed. It is what it is. And they tore it. And it's, and it's good for them. Tell me what you think. What have you listened to? Do you have anything you notice interesting in, in these podcasts from the early ones to now? Do you even think back? Were you on board with a podcast in the beginning? Like where it went? Wish it was more like the good old days? Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitters, on the contact. Uh, Mike at SorgatronMedia.com. Sorgatron.com, or you can leave a comment on the video versions of this on Facebook and the YouTubes. Subscribe, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.